yeah, tell us about your journey to rap, man. How did you get? How did you get to that point where you know you started to want to do music? I know you said uh, you started around thirteen. Yeah, yeah. I was so I was I was writing shit when I was young, and then um, I had a I had a stepmom at one point in my life, and that was like that was a weird time period. I was experimenting with drugs, drugs and shit, getting in trouble, like just doing doing dumb shit, and uh, I had a lot going on in my head. And I wasn't really talking to nobody, like. I wasn't talking to my school counselor and nothing like that. So I was like, fuck it, I'm about to write a song about it. So I did that, recorded my first song, and it was kind of up from there. And, and yeah, I started taking it serious uh, 2018 for real. Cause like I, I was rapping like Eminem type shit, like raw. Bro shit. was rapping, rapping. And uh, <laughs> that was something I heard y'all say in another um, interview. What made you get to the melodic part? I made, I made this one song called A Whoa. And it was like the first time I experimented with my voice, stretched my vocals and shit. And I was like, oh, that's a thing. Let me let me try doing something with that. So uh, I was like, you know, I was writing songs, trashing them and shit. I made Dementia. And that really set my set. I like that Volley is off. Because that song, I walked in there, didn't didn't need no notes or something. I, I remembered all my lyrics and shit. I just walked in there, recorded it. Oh, God. And after I got done, I sat down and my engineer was like, I didn't expect that. I was like, shit, I didn't either. <laughs> and then. It was yeah, defined. It was, it was up from there. I started making the started making a bunch of different music, and that's when I recorded actually all my songs for the new project that's dropping in October. So, did you ever feel like like you had to go more that way because that's kind of like what most I've, people do? Uh, not especially now in music. It, for me, it was more. It was more what I like personally because mm -hmm. I did not. I wasn't a fan of my raw voice as far as like rapping went. For some reason, I just couldn't find the pocket. Like when I started doing my melody songs, I got more creative with my ideas and stuff. And then, like, I personally like singing and doing the melody stuff a lot better than I did rapping. It's so more I, you for sure. Yeah. So I said, I'm gonna just roll roll with it like that. So, do you have any songs that you've dropped that was like what you're rapping more of? Uh, yeah, actually, I got this one called. <laughs> I got. A lot, actually. My last, I dropped a whole project of that rapping stuff. That's basically what it was. And I only had that one melody song on it. And then I dropped uh, my last song before I switched to it was, I think, a Detroit song that I made called Confidential. We be making them rap a little bit, too, because, you know, we love rapping. Yeah, and I be, <laughs> so I I be throwing studio, it in. I'm like, yo, I still you about throw to it in, like, Yeah, I still throw it in, like, here and there, but I'm more on the, like, yeah. the melodic side of music now. But, you know, we all got our strengths. I feel that. Yeah, we are. That's the thing about us. We all in our own lane. Yeah. yeah, like I feel like that's we can really, all do both. Mm -hmm. We can do it. We can we can do the facts, but like yeah, and but, really but then like yeah, we all in our own lane. The melodies so. are my lanes that, and they be rapping more than they be doing them singing stuff. That's their pocket. I, I personally feel like the melody stuff's just where I'm at. That's Volley Lane. 